always a good day, good uh, box to open, guys. David at Twice Diecast, and we've got a wonderful box by the looks of it from Tyrone in Western Australia, home of building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection and Ultimate Diecast. Let's see what Tyrone has sent me. Tyrone and I have a regularly scheduled shipment. Uh, and it is always amazing Australian stuff. And look at this, right out of the gate. Just as we suspected, more Aussie heat. Let's take a look at this GT sedan. I'm going to crack this one open. I'll be right back and we'll take a look at it. Okay, since we got a lot to look at today, gonna save a little time by not taking them off the base. And look at that, guys. Look at that Ford badge on the grill. This is a color variation I do not have for this vehicle. We've got a few of these in the collection. We'll see at the end the stuff that goes on the shelf. We'll definitely put it up there. This is a company called B Anti. I'm sure you all know the name by now, but if this is your first time to look at a B Anti, you're in for a treat. Uh, this is a now different uh, managed company out of Australia. And at the time when these were the packages that, that they came in, they were mainly Australia specific vehicles. Now they do more racers, it seems like. But look at the detail work you get on this right hand drive. And of course you get loads of detail just like that center console in chrome purple with red racing stripes tyrone absolutely beautiful thank you all right up next looks like it's going to be a tamika limited vintage get out of here this is why i love getting packages from tyrone so this is the highest level of Tamaka, excuse me, Tamaka, Tamika, however you want to say it. This is a Mitsubishi Colt, a Gallant. We've got this in a really cool fluorescent green, and I am loving the idea of bookending it on the shelf with this white version. So let's take a look at this really cool Old school Japanese, kind of like a sport coupe. Look at the authentic rims on it. You've got lens headlamps. You've got all the detail work on the badge. Even detailed um, inserts for the grill. Right hand drive on this. Some paint for some wiper detail work. Look how this thing is tiny, guys. And this car was really tiny in real life. So it is true 164 between Bianti and Tamika Limited Vintage right out of the gate. We are in for a incredible box. Beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you, Tyrone. We're gonna keep on trucking and let's see what else we have in here. Whoa, I think we've got some different scales. Tyrone knows that I have kind of opened my catalog up to some 143rd scale. Ooh, this is definitely one I have been wanting. Thank you, Tyrone. This is one I've had my eye on. Um, so getting back to what I was saying, we've got some 143rd scale as well as these 164. And if you guys are new to the channel, I typically try to limit what I get to actually 164 scale. So uh, some of the brands that you'll see here today are just ones that I've identified as true 164 scale. And we're gonna take a look at a lot of those on this channel. Here is your M4 in Sakir Orange. Not sure if I said that right. Mini GT, another brand that brings you fantastic premium die cast in 164 scale. Look at the rims on this. Just a super polished chrome finish on these. A carbon fiber effect on the roof. That's really cool. 
third straight right-hand drive vehicle for us. Lensed headlamps, a really clean, clear BMW badge on the bonnet. And just coming around, lens tail lamps, BMW badge on the deck lid, some exhaust detail work, really beautiful car. Thank you, Tyrone. So, got B Anti, Tamika Limited Vintage, and Mini GT right out of the gate. Heck of a way to start. Let's go for another. Mini GT. Let's see what else Tyrone has picked out for us. Looks like we got a Liberty Walk Lamborghini Huracan. I will take a second to get this out of the package and we'll take a look at it. This is a live unboxing, so you're getting my unadulterated reaction to these. And I don't mind doing that on Tyrone's. I know it's always gonna be amazing stuff. This is no exception. Can't ever go wrong with a Lamborghini, especially one done by Mini GT. Check out the carbon fiber wing on the rear. Paint to match rims, looking pretty cool. Liberty Walk, all the decals for the sponsors. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Liberty Walk slogan, banner on the top. Really cool detail work on the headlamps. You got the LED appearance on those. And check out the engine detailed out for you. Look at the blue tipped exhaust pipes on that. That's a really cool feature. Love the rising sun. A uh, sticker, what have you, on the back. Another winner. Mini GT, one of the brands that I really, really like. Thank you, Tyrone. Let's see what is up next. That might be... I think that is all for the 164 scale. So let's look at some stuff that appears to be 143rd scale. And how about this what the heck is an acclaim this is a holden commodore and i love it check out the rubber tires with tread on them boy this is an age of holden that i don't see a lot of i don't think i've seen this in my i know i haven't seen it in my collection for sure i don't think i've seen these for sale anywhere look at holden and a claim on the rear. So I guess a claim was a type or a, a version of the Commodore maybe. Look at the two-tone interior on this. That's really cool. Gear shift, plainly visible. Here's your Holden badge. And those, those wheels are spot on. I'm pretty sure that is exactly the way they looked back then. Look at the rear end on this. Really cool, 143rd scale Holden. I've got a shelf that Tyrone gave me. We'll, we'll update that shelf here with these cars and hopefully we'll, we'll have enough to do a picture at the end here. All right, let's keep on trucking. I see an AutoArt and AutoArt does amazing die cast. If you don't know this brand guys, you gotta check them out. So. We've only got a Holden LX Torana 5000. That thing is as meaty and mean as they come. Let's get this guy out and take a look at it. This is a this is a fun one, Tyrone. Cannot stop hitting my camera stand here. All right, so we're gonna take a second just to look at this really cool certificate of authenticity, 1991 out of 2400. So Tyrone has found us an absolute gem of a piece. All right, 
just in the interest of time, let's see if we can just look at this on the base. So, you got a matte black hood or bonnet, window trim all around it. You got some fender flares that have been added to this vehicle, modifying it. There's your base. Look at those wheels. Look at that rim. Let's see what we've got for headlamps on this. Lensed headlamps. Tarana on there. Man, I know Fex Death would love this one. Look at this. KC, Metal Mania, what say ye? What you reckon? NZ, all oh, you guys, look at that. Look at that rear end. That is fantastic, Tyrone. Thank you so much for this one. This is outrageous. I cannot wait to put this on the, the shelf you gave me. All right, we're gonna keep on going. Got a Lucy here. And I'm gonna look at it real quick before I throw it out there. This is called a WD Holden by a company called Trax, T-R-A-X. Look at how wild and awesome this wagon is. Holden on the bonnet, lens headlamps, steely rims that are almost color matched. They're color matched to the roof, I think. Chrome door handles, a little bit of chrome for a fender guard there. Look at the rear, just absolutely dressed up in chrome and paint. Man, I love this wagon. Here's your interior in green. Don't have many tracks in the collection. They are hard to come by here in the States, but as you can see, they make pretty awesome stuff. Look at that differential in red. You've got uh, the exhaust system running through the base here, and that is a metal base. And that is just a really cool wagon. Look at that. A couple of Holdens going into the 143rd shelf when we get done. Two more to go. Wow, what the heck is this? All right. So this one is unopened. This is another Trax. And this says Chrysler VG Valiant Regal. Hmm. Not uh, not familiar with this car at all. Looks like this is an Australian model. I will get it out. We'll take a look at it. We'll probably keep this one on the base just for now. I'll take it off and we'll put it in the shelf. But look at this. Chrysler Valiant. Wild. Okay. Done uh, by Trax, T-R-A-X. And look at the matte black roof on that. Red interior. Rear looking good. Man, I love these rims on this. Well, I'm not gonna find this car anywhere else, guys. Uh, I uh, thank you guys in Australia so much for helping me get these cars because I, I love them all and I just, I've never seen them anywhere here locally. One more car to go. And this is another Trax. This is called a P76 Super. Oh, sweet. Check this out. From the Australian Motoring Legends series. You can read that if you want. This is called a P76. This appears to be, I guess, one of the models that uh, helped Australian automotive production take flight there in Australia. 
All right, so interesting design on this packaging. You got a, a piece here to protect the car, and then I guess you can keep it displayed on this red velvet plinth here. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's look at the car. The car is pretty awesome. You've got, it's, it's not really like, what I'm looking through my camera, it looks blue, but there is a greenish hue to it. Look at that. Leland must be some kind of trim package, maybe. I love the chrome bumper. Tyrone has been out hunting for these. You can tell. I have never seen any of these cars even come up on my eBay suggestions after buying loads of, of Australian stuff. Tyrone, you have uh, you killed it. So I'm going to take these off the base. I'm going to show them going on the respective shelves. I hope you guys will check out Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection as well as Ultimate Diecast. Tyrone is as good as we have in our community, guys. And I'm so thankful that you joined me today to look at these really cool Australian vehicles. Take care, everybody. This is David at Twice Diecast. All right, Tyrone, here is the updated BNT shelf that you sent me. Thought I'd move all the wagons up top and just look at this lineup, guys. How in the world does an American here in Alabama wind up with such cool Australian vehicles? Thank you so much, Tyrone. We'll do one quick picture of the new vehicles on well, they'll be all over the all over the map on the shelves for the 164. So I'll leave you with this one. Thank you so much, Tyrone. This has been an amazing box, and I look forward to everyone as well in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is David at Twice Diecast. Take care, everybody.